My neck hurts. My neck doesn't feel good. You gonna massage it later? So is shit for some reason. You're not? Anything to touch you. My neck. Is You're not putting that in the video. Not after last week. Sorry, there's have. no if more just, touching, there's no more... If you just hadn't said all that, I would have. That's one thing. Okay, anyway. There's there no we go. more... Nothing. Hey! Hey, everybody. Hey. Like time whiskey here. Dan and Julie. What are we going to talk about today, Julie? We are going to talk about Leopold Brothers Three Chambers Rye Whiskey. This is it. $250 SRP. Let's see what this bad boy tastes like. But before we do, Julie, you want to tell us a little bit about it? Do I? What, what, you're, what you're would you like to know? I know it all. Well, let's start. What the hell is going on here? Let's see. What can I tell you? Well, they reassembled. No, no, they didn't reassemble. They took plans from an old pre Prohibition. Wait, let's rewind a little bit. Where is Leopold Brothers out of? Colorado. Out of Colorado. They are out of Colorado. Your hands are froze. The rest of it's not froze. That's kind of weird. Okay, sorry. But, okay, let's talk about why they did this, and then you tell them, since you know the why and the what, why don't you tell them the why, what they were trying to do, and then what they did. <laughs> they, they did this to recreate, they wanted to recreate a pre-prohibition three chamber still. So they found um, old plans and, or what are those things called? Old blueprints. Old blueprints. They, yeah. old blueprints. And they um, refashioned one, rebuilt one. And um, they did, they used a bruisey rye, which is the rye that was used back in the 1800s. Now they, what we have is a hybrid rye that's been GMO'd and your favorite kind of grain. That's right, I prefer GMO. Yes, but um, they went to the good old stuff, which is actually like a sweeter rye, and it has more, um, more like fats to it than what is known today amongst the rye world. There you go. Yeah. Well, so it's supposed to be, you know, more like a, a kind of a throwback to that. Interestingly enough, though, what they found whiskey. when Julie was talking about that diagram, they found. Um, I read that they basically just found illustrations with not really how to do it and how to make the metal and how to fashion it. And they actually got Vendome involved and Vendome helped them like kind of the how they showed them what they had, the, the blueprints, the diagrams, but the details behind it, um, they needed some help. So they went to Vendome. Doesn't Vendome build Vendome does everything. Everything when it comes to. So Vendome stills. went and helped them. Very interesting thing I found about this after Julie actually told me about it and I read more into it is I get the what they were trying to do and interesting but man what a lot of work to create a bottle yeah. of whiskey like I get it but okay it'd be cool if we could make something taste a certain way but to go actually recreate this three chamber still to do um, to use a rye we haven't they haven't used before a lot of money and research went into this they actually found it from old IRS uh, studies. They had to find IRS that looked through the old IRS studies Shut up, cat. Uh, to dig into this and find this information because it wasn't anywhere else. So, uh, and the still is not nearly as efficient as um, like a, a yeah. so column still. So, so perhaps we're... the reason we don't use it anymore because it doesn't make sense to. It's not efficient, which is probably why they had to price this bottle at $250 perhaps. Um, but anyway, we're going to crack it open and see what we think. Now, as you know, Julie and I don't spend much time telling you if a bottle is worth it or not because that's kind of subjective. Some people say no bottle's worth that. So after we drink it, Julie's going to give it her rating. Is she happy she bought it or mad that she bought it? And then we'll compare it to, um, not a side-by-side -side comparison, like, but we'll talk range. about some other bottles of rye that are about in this price range and say, hey, how does it stand up against those? So with that, Julie, ready? I'm ready. America. Let's give it a taste. Let's do it. We aren't going to let this sit at all. We're just going to swirl it, so sniff it's it, and drink only, it. So um, it's only a five, five year, four or four five year. year. It, was, it was barreled in 2016. So, so um, I think it was bottled it at four years or close to that, right? Four or five years. So um, it's non-age stated, so we know it's at least that. All right. So it's bottled and bond. So 100 proof. Cheers. A bottled and bond rye. 
throwback. Oh. Okay. It's Go ahead. what was that even for? Go ahead and let's tell them. But it, it's got a strong smell. It's not it doesn't have like a real strong alcohol smell, but it's so very I'm gonna just to be transparent, I read a bunch of reviews on this. Every, uh, several of them, including some that I highly respect, and said, Hey, you don't even get the youthfulness. I gotta tell you, the I first thing when I stuck this up to my nose was that is some young ass whiskey. That was it. Smelled yeah. much younger than four years, honestly. That's what it smelled I got like a, it smelled like fresh mowed grass is the only thing I can get now. I can't get anything beyond it. I those. felt like I was walking through a pasture of fresh mowed grass. If you get beyond that, there's a, is a little bit of spice. I get honey. I I get malt. I get yes, malt, and they do use. Uh, Malted barley, so, I get my nose but I way, get a lot of it, so I'm a little bit scared right now. I get my nose way down in there. I do around the glass, but I actually get honey out of here, which is weird. Maybe, maybe not honey. Maybe um, that's not okay. Molasses. I'm just gonna go agave ahead. a little, maybe. But anyway, let's taste it. Well, maybe that's the sweetness from the uh, rye because it is a sweeter rye. Maybe but we'll but I'm like just gonna a, go ahead and taste it because I'm I'm scared, so I'm kind of dreading it. But yeah, I don't. And that like, sounds bad. I am not a fan of the nose. I just not a fan it. of the nose. I don't want to comment till I have another sip in a minute. You know, some water and start over. I'll let Julie though. What do you got to say about it? I'm gonna try to be fair and I'm gonna have another sip too. Yeah, let's do that and then we'll talk. Okay, it is unique. It is very unique. It's one of them bottles that if you drank this a couple of times against some other ryes, you would pick this out in a blind. It doesn't taste like any other rye I've ever tasted. I can tell you that. Very distinct taste. Would you agree? I would definitely agree with that. Okay. Give us a couple of things and then I'll go again. What do you get notes to you? What do you taste to you get? Dirt. Dirt. It tastes like dirt to me. And it tastes like the fresh made grass mixed with it. And I'm sorry. I don't like saying anything bad. It doesn't. It tastes like dirty cough syrup. I know yes, before you, fresh okay. mode grass and I'm before sorry. Before you, no, but listen, before you guys run out and buy a bottle, because I know after that, this is what you're wanting to do. Um, <laughs> sorry. Who are you apologizing to? I just feel bad saying something so bad my, and not having anything good to follow up here's with. Here's what it. I can't, so I don't, it's, I don't, we know how, how you feel about it. I don't dislike it that much. I, Right, the story in the bottle is half of it. So like I'm caught up in wow, this is what it used to taste like. This is all this work they went through. However, my recommendation would be don't go through that much work. Don't go build another still just to recreate something from the past. Um it is unique. I'm not I'd like it's something to be neat, like if you go to a bar to try it, just because it does taste different than anything I've tasted. It's a young bottle trying to be old, right? Yeah. Trying to recreate something old. Perhaps if the bottle sat another three, four years, um, not the bottle, but the whiskey. the whiskey sat another three or four years before bottled, maybe they could have recreated what they wanted to a little better. But it really, right now I'm down to that, the honey cough, like a honey cough drop, um, even, including the little bit of medicinal that you get on the back of it. I get that. Medicinal is a very good yeah, term I get for that. it. It tastes very medicinal. So Julie, real quick, um, are you happy you bought this? For 250 bucks, or are you not happy you bought it for 250 bucks? I'm not happy at all. Okay. That I bought it for 250 dollars. I don't want to leave anything on a bad note. Like the, the distillery has a very cool story. And they had a very cool idea. So by and the like, book. Like it's soup. That's what I'm saying. Like it, by the but, book, not the bottle. But I. So I don't want to. This just. They needed to go further with it and in my view and but did you know like the warehouse everything goes into their barrels at a hundred proof and everything comes out at a hundred proof because of the way their warehouse is mm. well, so did, that's pretty cool that right. like they have some very interesting 
and unique things about their distillery and like, their I like, ideas. So her point is she likes the chef. She just doesn't like the cooking. So Right. Maybe let well, it marinate for a little bit longer. And A lot of people more important than us like this, but we are not those two. So anyway, real quick, my point. She not. told you how she feels on her buying. I, Here's my I, rating. I would have been mad if I spent $50 on it. <laughs> Okay, so my comparison is other bottles in that price range, right? Because if you're okay spending 200, 250 bucks on a bottle, let's talk about how it compares with those. I can't get the grass taste. All those reviews that said this doesn't taste young, what the heck are they drinking? Because I don't want to read those, those, uh, those anymore. Anyway, because that, really and bad. by the way, my mouth now Very feels bad. like I've been hiking through the Sahara Desert for about three months. See the dirt, right? And, and there's sand? no... I don't know if it's that as much as it just sucked all the water out of me. Here's some bottles, similar price range. Kentucky Owl, this happens to be um, the last batch, batch four, um, around the same price range, $299 MSRP, a little bit higher, but you could go back to batch three or two that were $199 MSRP. Doesn't even come close to competing with these bottles that are still available. Old Carter, MSRP is a little bit lower than the $250, um, but it is a... A fantastic bottle. You're going to probably pay about as much as you'd pay for, or maybe even a little bit more than you pay for the Leopold. But again, maybe it's the age of it. Uh, maybe it's everything the Carters do that leaps and bound better. Um, and then even this, would you agree with this? I one? would sell my house for an old Carter. Just saying. Anyway, how about this? Even this. Lock, stock, and barrel. This is an 18 year, very close to MSRP of the Leopold. It's actually a little bit less. This is Alberta. Um, I would drink this, so would you, probably over and over again before you drink that. Wish we liked it better. Anyway, I'm going to drink the rest of this because I don't dislike it enough to not finish this glass, but it is, um, if I had spent Are 30, 40 bucks. Are you mad I spent $250 on it? I'm never mad if you spend money on whiskey. But anyway, I'm going to finish this one. Um, just because we poured it, they deserve this. They put a lot of work into it, so I'm going to drink this glass. Yeah, says, I'm really sorry, Todd Leopold. Yeah. I'm very, very sorry. I like you as a person. Anyway. I think you are brilliant. You're very smart. We're not going to say you're not going to like this. If you like um, grassy rye with very little rye spice and you like paying 250 for it, this is your jam. Go purchase it. They are still available. I looked up even online. Several of them available right at MSRP. Go get you one. If not, um, you can you can come get the rest of mine. Guys, if you don't mind, like, comment, subscribe. And if you've had this already and you disagree with us or agree with us, put that in the comments too. We'd appreciate it. Yes, but please be nice because I get my feelings hurt. Yeah. Say goodbye. I'm or cheers or something. <laughs> not really. I'm not sensitive at all. Say goodbye or cheers or something. All right. Bye. Cheers. Love you. See ya. Sorry. <laughs> I knew it. It's really not good. I feel bad though. I feel bad. I spent $250 on it.